right now, what is it that you want to get the word out about? Well, I would like to tell the uh, good fans who have supported Troma for 40 some odd years that we have a Troma channel on YouTube, Troma Movies, 300 free movies, I don't know how many, but maybe 300, plus the Toxic Crusader cartoons, plus uh, Doggy Tales, our children's, and every day we put up new Make Your Own Damn Movie lessons and comedy shorts. Kabuki Man's nice. Cocktail Corner is a weekly show that goes up. Troma Movies, it's all free, and it's to thank our fans and the good fans at, uh, in Elmira who have supported Troma for 40 years. The Toxic Avenger, of course, uh, very active here in uh, Comic-Con, uh, Twin Tears Comic-Con, and uh, what more can Lloyd Kaufman, president of Troma Entertainment and creator of the Toxic Avenger, what more can I say? Now, with one of the things I'm, I've been wanting to ask you, actually, you have hundreds of films that you've been directly involved in. How often do people come up with you and go, hey, I want you to sign my Guardians of the Galaxy DVD now? <laughs> well, um, you know, James Gunn wrote Tromeo and Juliet and worked for Troma and created a lot for Troma. Awesome. And uh, what an honor that James Gunn has put me in uh, Slither in uh, all his movies, including uh, Super, and now Guardians of the Angels, uh, I mean Guardian of the Galaxy, sorry, Guardians of the Galaxy, if you want to know where to find me, I'm the person who's very green, uh, I go by uh, Zoe Solana, just in case you wanted to find me in the movie. Murderer! That was my line, that's actually my line. Murderer! Now, I used to manage a mom and pop video store, oh. and you guys were like our bread and butter because, of course, Blockbuster didn't carry. You know, if they did, it was a couple no, of copies were, of the no popular Blockbuster. ones. No Blockbuster, Blockbuster never carried trauma ever. But we, I mean, he, he remembers he used to work with me briefly. Like we had all of this stuff. Um, how has the market changed for you without video stores? Because it seems to me that like that was a really great way of getting your material in front of people that is kind of evaporated. We've never made any, we never made any money. <laughs> the video market was dominated by Blockbuster and uh, and those fascists at Hollywood Video and all. So I, and we, mom and pop stores were great because they were great fans. And uh, you know, I make movies because I'm an artist and I want people to see them. So I don't care about the business. There's never been any business for us. We've never been more famous now and we've never made less money now <laughs> now what you spoke about the youtube channel what goes into the decision to make all that available for free instead of trying to find a way to monetize it through google the only reason troma is here is because of our fans and they've supported us they've given us money to uh, make uh, all the uh, the fans have given uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the mic pick him up if he just goes. Uh, it's probably going to be so distracted that. <laughs> I'm a writer. I don't know anything about yeah. shooting anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the reason Troma is still around after 42 years is thanks to our fans. Our fans are very devoted. They raised money for us to make a documentary about the Cannes Film Festival and Troma called uh, Sincerely Tromaville, also originally called Occupy Cannes. We're editing that. Um, our fans put up money to finish the volume two of Return to Nukem High because we uh, ran out of money. Uh, they helped us out on Kickstarter. So uh, it's all thanks to our fans. So what better way can we uh, thank our fans and by giving them uh, a shitload of new movies. So Troma Movies on YouTube. And every day we put up new content. Well, I'll let you go, but thank you so much for your time, yeah, sir. Yeah, thank you.